Morning guys, we're in the machine shop now. Um, uh, this is the idler shaft, the old one. I'm going to make a new one. That's what we're doing right now. Uh, this is the idler tensioner shaft. I put some flats on it, which I don't know if I need to do that or not. I may do that, but um, it's a little too narrow from hole to hole, from center to center there. Um, I made an adjustment on the width of the frame, and then this actually ended up being too short. So this new one I'm going to make is just a little bit longer, and I'm going to put slots in there uh, so that I can make an, a fine adjustment on the width of the frame and the belt if I need to, and uh, I don't think it'll influence how the tensioner works in this thing. This thing can slide around a little bit. I think it'll be fine. So uh, we're going to use the eighth inch boring or the uh, end mill here and go through and then we're going to sidestep on the x-axis probably a quarter of an inch just to put the little slot in there and, uh, and we'll move to the other end and do the other end. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> This is sort of a test video. I've got the, uh, using the iPhone, wearing a microphone, just the uh, PlayStation mic, actually, lapel mic, and I've got the mag base with the iPhone mount holding it down. So I'm not sure whether or not you'll be able to hear me. I'm moving the X axis, uh, I went 100 and 50,000 on the other side, so we'll go 150 on this one. Nice and slow since that's an eighth inch end mill. Be easy to break. And this is an aluminum, uh, I think that's 516 quarter inch. That's the bigger than quarter. There's 150. Looks to me like uh, that's going to work fine. Get it out of there. There we go. See you next time.